Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at how to configure a payment workflow in Zoho Creator. To help explain the configuring procedure better, let's take the case of an order management app. By following these steps, you can easily configure a payment workflow. The screen you see here is a sample app for a home appliance store. Whenever a new customer makes a purchase, the details are filled in here, and then the payment needs to be processed. Let's configure the payment workflow on this form. Go to the editor, access the workflow section, and select the payments tab. Here, you'll find all the payment workflows you've configured for your application. There are two mandatory prerequisites before we proceed with the configuration. Configure Zoho Checkout. Set up a payment gateway. Both are one-time processes. Zoho Checkout is a secure online payment platform that takes care of all the transactions done in your Zoho Creator app. You can directly configure it from the Workflow Editor or access it from the System's Integrations tab under the Operations module. This needs to be done by the super admin of the account. Let's first configure Zoho Checkout. Choose your country, state, and currency fields here. All payment transactions will be based on what you choose here. These are the payment gateways supported in the chosen country. If you already hold an account with any of these gateways, you can add and authorize the connection. If you don't, make sure to create an account with the payment gateway you prefer to configure the workflow. For demonstration, let's see proceed with authorize.net. Next, enter your API login ID transaction key, public key, and currency with respect to your Authorize.net account. This will act as the default payment gateway for all the applications you create later in the Zoho Creator account. You can follow the same process to set up other payment gateways. Click Authorize. The connection that we just created can be accessed from the Payment Gateways section under the Operations module. You can authorize multiple payment gateways simultaneously. From the Application Access tab, you can directly enable or disable payment gateway access to the applications in your account. Now that we're through with the authorization part, let's go ahead and configure the payment workflow. On the Configuration window, choose the form that you want to redirect to the payment. Since we're dealing with an order management application, let's choose the order form. The subsequent fields will be displayed based on the form chosen here. All the currency and number fields present in the selected form appear in the amount field. Since grand total is the only currency field in the order form, only that can be seen here. Give a name to the workflow so that it can be later identified and accessed, in case any edit needs to be done in the future. You can choose the Always option if you want the payment window to be shown on every order. Or you can set specific condition by which you want the payment to be triggered. For instance, the order form allows the user to choose between online payment and cash on delivery. Let's give a condition to redirect to the transaction window only when the user chooses online payment as their mode of payment. You can add more such conditions by clicking AND, if you prefer it to take place simultaneously, or by clicking OR, if you prefer it to take place separately. By default, Zoho Creator will have an email notification configured on the workflow. It will be sent on the success or failure of a payment. When you tap this tab, an edit option appears, where you can customize the message and select the receiver. Since we want customers to receive an email, let's keep the email provided in the form as the receiver. As you can see, the body of the default email addresses the person who logs in. If you want to change it, you can select the Insert a Field option. All the fields available in the form you chose while creating the workflow will be shown in the drop-down. Let's select the name field so that every time the mail is sent, it addresses the customer by the name entered in the form. In the same manner, you can add any variable available in the drop-down into the body of the email. Similarly, you can edit and customize the email that'll be triggered on failure of the payment action. You can add multiple actions to execute on success or failure of the transaction. Instead of an email, there are alternate options such as SMS, mobile notification, show success message, or redirect to a URL after every payment. Also, you can add, update, or delete a record in a form on successful transactions. 
In case you need to push data to another service, for example, you can use the integration tasks to update the order information to the customer profile in CRM. On the other hand, if you want the inventory count to be reduced every time a purchase is made, you can't use any of the three options discussed till now. For such instances, you can use the Deluge script. Here, you can define the logic to update the inventory automatically after every order. All these actions can be associated with the payment workflow. When the payment workflow is triggered, the associated actions will be executed. Let's just stick to email for the time being. From the icon on the top right, you can edit the properties of this workflow. Click Done. The payment workflow has now been configured. Let's access the Live app, and you can see the payment integration details on the right. This payment gateway slider is accessible only to users who have access to edit mode, such as developers and admins. Let's place an order. These are sample product details we have. The grand total we have here is a currency field, which we selected while configuring the payment workflow. And let's select online payment. On clicking the proceed to pay button, creator will automatically redirect to the payment gateway. Now enter the bank details and proceed to complete the transaction. The transaction summary can be accessed from the orders report. As you can see, the status shows the transaction was successful. Now, let's check the email for confirmation. Here, you can see that we've received the email, and on viewing it, we can see the context reflects what we customized. In this way, you can easily collect online payments for your business requirements through Zoho Creator application. We hope the payment workflow configuration process is now a piece of cake for you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.